So as you can see, a guy from Wickenburg can get to the major leagues. Well, sort of. That was me a couple weeks ago in Tampa throwing out the first pitch versus the Twins. And as you know, I've come a long way since my days in the Berg, splashing around in that swampy right field in the early 80s at the old high school as Joe Kenrick would hit me fungos during practice just to get my butt soaking wet. That was also the same field where we'd crush Parker and Mojave in league games. I'm so proud of my time there, and words cannot describe the appreciation I have for Coach Hodkiss, and when he told me he wanted to rename the Hustle Lord after me, I was blown away. It's such an honor, and I want to personally thank you, Coach. I guess the one thing that most people remember about me is that I never quit, despite the odds being stacked against me. I always wanted people to know that I could do whatever I wanted despite the odds, and I would not be where I am today without the support of my teammates and the coaches like the legendary Joe Kenrick. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate this year's winner, Reyes Macedo. Reyes had amazing back control, which led to his 475 average and his on-base percentage of 549, which of course allowed you guys to hit and run. His 16 steals were second on the team, and he led the team in sacrifices and hit-by-pitches. He was also second in my favorite category, walks. But you'll never break my state record of 42, brother. He roamed around center field screaming and chirping to the other players, which helped motivate them to be better themselves. And when other teams tried to run on him, he'd gun them down. Reyes walks the talk, and his leadership led to him being named the co-captain. He's won this award two straight years, and I would like to personally congratulate Mr. Macedo in winning the first ever Dave Stevens Hustle Award. I wish you the best for your future, wherever it may take you. And just remember, no dream is too big to dream. As I sit here for my 17th year at ESPN, just keep reaching for your goals and never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. I'm living proof. Not bad for a Whitman kid, eh? Congratulations to you and the rest of your WHS teammates for a solid season. And although you fell short of your playoff goal, it was still a great season all around. I wish all of you great luck in the future. And thank you very much for this amazing, amazing feeling of having an award named after myself. Thank you and good night.